see. I'm also in it, so it's showing oh, them. No, we don't see Jen. No? Okay. Uh, here, Thomas, scoot over a little bit. Uh, All right, testing audio, one, two. We're going to be going, well, we are live, I suppose, so I'm going to do an audio test right now for the sure. folks in the chat. Do we sound okay? Yeah. I know you goofballs can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways. Um, <laughs> Woo! Yeah, sideways. Was, you can. I think on the base you could. Oh. Oh wow. Oh. How about that? Mm -hmm. We got some high. Oh, really you're awesome. upside down. <laughs> 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 we, we're, <laughs> you <laughs> broke my character. <laughs> oh, we're we have down. some high we're, tech. We're playing with some fun technology, folks. This is. It's got a little it's bit. It's going into the theme okay. of everything. This is all a part with you. Know, it, I, how do I? Okay. How do how are they? <laughs> You know, I remember yeah. when they first invented cameras. <laughs> <laughs> it was 1837. <laughs> okay. I was a young. Good. Okay, I can't do the grandma voice. So just... <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. So I am uh, Elizabeth Keegan, game art faculty here. I feel like I should stand in front of the camera. Hold on. All right, here we go. All right. Good evening, Twitch uh, audience. So uh, I am Elizabeth Keegan, game art faculty here at the amazing uh, animation uh, department. What? Oh, really? Awesome. Hold on. Let me switch. It should be. It takes a minute though. No, it's got a delay. Sorry. Okay, we're testing stuff. All right. Okay. Well. Whatever. So we'll we'll continue with introductions. Yeah. So, uh, I am very excited to be presenting the team for Grandma RPG, our very first tabletop experience here um, at the Columbus College of Art and Design. So what I'm going to do, as we have done it in the last streams, is we're going to have everybody go around and introduce themselves, what they're studying, and what their role was on the team. So give me a second, I'm going to uh, swing back around here and make sure everything's working. Um, is everything that we need showing up on the screen? I think so. Yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with our introductions. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Um, I was the technical and Twitch advisor on the team. The technical advisor. What's the technical advisor do? Can you give us a little snippet. Um, I would make sure like the rules worked and stuff like that. Fantastic. All right. Next down the line. Um, I'm Elena. Uh, I was the director of the game. I made the pitch. I came up with the idea, and then I helped everybody go through the pipeline and the work. All right. And throughout, I will tell Elena to speak up because uh, yeah. the microphone is there, <laughs> and Elena is soft spoken. All right. Next down the line. Uh, I'm the complete opposite of Elena in terms of soft spokenness. Um, I'm Jordan. I am. I well, I am the art director for the game. Um, I also came up with the designs for the grandma and and. Uh, Helped make sure everything was visually cohesive. And if you all are looking at Twitch right now, I actually put up Crafty Grandma, right? Jordan, will you be playing Crafty Grandma? Elena's the, playing Elena, Oh, I'm sorry. I okay. am the feral cavalry you are grandma. The cavalry grandma. <laughs> yes. So if you folks notice at the bottom left of the screen, I will be showing each uh, avatar of our players this evening as they are so wonderfully <clears throat> illustrated just in case our cameras aren't picking up the high quality of these wonderful illustrations. All right, I think, hopefully we can see our, there we go, perfect. All <laughs> right, <laughs> continue with introductions. Okay, hi, I'm Thomas. I am a animation major specializing in 3D. Uh, what I did in this product, project, how the words are said, uh, as I was an assistant to the art director, so I helped with some designs and I got everything ready for print and all the graphic elements pretty much. So. Fantastic. 
So I think with that, I'm going to, um, unfortunately I'm going to not make anybody sick as I move our 4K camera back over to the table because the way that our scene is currently set up is that we have a bird's eye view so everybody can kind of see the action happening on the table. And then we also have our awesome little camera here that Elena will kindly be showing us and walking us through the physical components of the game and how uh, rules and so forth are being played through. So I'm going to, uh, hold on, I'll put us on like a pause screen yes. and then I'll move everything and we'll come back to gameplay. So give me one moment to do that and we'll go right back to um, this screen here. That. All right. Was that not peachy? So, <laughs> okay, so I think we're all good. Are we looking good? How are folks doing over in chat? Is everything looking okay? Just make sure that we've got everything working as intended. Sounding okay? Looking okay? Give me one second before we get started. I just want to make sure people are seeing things as they're set up. I think our chat's broken on the OBS, but I think we're okay on Twitch. Oh. <laughs> okay. So I'll try one more time. Are we sounding okay, chat? We're ready to start playing. Okay, awesome. Yay. Yay. Okay. Ready to go. And <laughs> Chad is working on the fantastic. Okay, we're good. Tech is so Proceed. hard. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Awesome. Um, okay, so I guess before we uh, start playing the game, I'm going to run through uh, some of like the basic aspects and some of the rules. Uh, we'll be playing with three people, and it can be played with up to four. Each of us have our chosen grandma. Um, we're going to use item cards uh, to help us tell the story of how we're all going to try to get to our tea party. Um, it's going to be pretty silly. Uh, we're going to use all these different cards uh, to make it through the story. And we're going to count through the rounds. So on every uh, numbered round, we're going to all uh, draw an encounter card and something will happen and we'll have to react to it. That will have us throw around some points, which we can use to switch out our items and things like that. Uh, and then uh, after every numbered round, there's going to be a story round. And that's when we're actually going to do uh, some fun role playing stuff. Uh, so right now we're all going to start with five points, and that's the little, um, if you can see it, we got the little cake tokens oh. happening. So those are our five point counters, so we can all get one of these. So start the game with five points. I've always been more of a chocolate woman. Mm. Oh! <laughs> a chocolate woman, you're saying? Yes. I love to pound cake. <laughs> <laughs> I think as a pie is your favorite should be angel cake, but you do you. Everybody gets three <laughs> items to start. We're off right. to a great start here. I'm just gonna make it silly. <laughs> so at any point in time, folks, that um, the, our mm -hmm. wonderful artists are playing through, you are welcome to field questions, and we'll kind of give you some backstory and so forth. So. Do not be afraid as folks are getting into their grandma role playing that you can ask questions and really uh, get a chance to learn more about behind the scenes. All right. Um, so the items uh, we've drawn are all uh, drawn by our lovely team. So I know uh, the cataract glasses uh, Jordan made, our ca cavalier grandma, um, and she colored in our little surfboard with alien Easter egg in the back. Um, and every item is, has a little uh, icon on it that'll correspond, uh, either match or not, to uh, location icons. Um, and if we m match the icons to it, we actually don't get points uh, for the cards, which are these little numbers here. But if uh, they don't match, which means it's harder to use somewhere like this uh, in our story, uh, then we'll actually get points and 
we, we do want those. So it looks like we're all in the amusement park. <laughs> I feel like that's a very threatening place for an old woman. <laughs> You're threatening. <laughs> I'm, I'm knitting. I don't know what you guys are doing. All right. All right. So who wants to start? Uh, Thomas, you'll go first. Uh, okay. So we start with the encounters, correct? Indeed. All right. So my first encounter is while I'm at the amusement park, there was a sale. So I don't know. What the, what the <laughs> so pay happened. one point to draw an item or choose not to act. So on all of our turns, we can spend uh, once we can spend two points to buy an item. In this case, it's a discount. Mm -hmm. It's not seventy percent, but you know. It's fine. Well, what a sale <laughs> at an amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're buying, but... <laughs> As an old lady, I really don't like like spending money because my money is my life savings and I need to travel the world as pie as grandma. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to skip the sale today. <laughs> that giant stuffed monkey wasn't doing it for you. <laughs> no. It's that you were on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a stuffed horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might enjoy the stuffed horse. <laughs> oh, I <don't> like horses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn. Okay. So, while at the amusement park, I ran into a pleasant garden. <laughs> <laughs> so, with this card, um, this is something uh, Cavalier Grandma will hold on to until our story round, and she'll have to incorporate it uh, into the story she tells. Oh. At an amusement park. <laughs> at an amusement park. Have you been to Bush Gardens? Come on. Can I say brand names? <laughs> Can I say brand names? <laughs> we'll bleep it out in the edited version. <laughs> it's, it'll be shrub. <laughs> shrub gardens. Shrub gardens. Shrub arboretum. <laughs> awesome. All right, I'm not going to buy an item or anything. I think I'm good. Um, I got, oh, I got muddy ground. So this is the same as Pleasant Garden, except uh, now I'm walking through the mud. Which is it's bad for my yarn, oh. <laughs> but um, I have to hold on to it for my story as well. All right. So now we move on to round two. Round two with this lovely uh, little teapot uh, Thomas made. Mm -hmm. He was, as he put it, he was on a sculpting frenzy. He made many of our little uh, teacups, and then we all painted them together. It was very fun. Mm -hmm. Round two. All right, looks like I'm going again. So as I'm walking <laughs> past that sale, I, I decide not to dig get that horse because who needs a horse really uh, suddenly i don't know it stopped raining <laughs> got a sudden deluge which means i'm waterlogged so i have to discard one blue item in your inventory which one item that isn't one item that isn't blue in my inventory um well <laughs> what am i gonna get rid of don't want to get rid of my tinfoil hat or my rabbit's foot <laughs> I don't know. Can I see those two? Yes. I don't know. They're both so good. <laughs> I don't think the rabbit foot's going to really do anything for me. I'm not really a big fan of animals. <laughs> so... You don't need <laughs> luck. You have the Lord's favor. <laughs> I have the Lord's favor. <laughs> He'll save me in this deluge. I'm waterlocked. <laughs> Which makes sense because you're also walking through mud. Yeah. <laughs> I just got through your deluge. <laughs> And meanwhile, I'm, I'm going through a pleasant garden that's enjoying it. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, look at that. So, while I was hanging out with Pius and Crafty here, they're getting waterlogged. I found a nice dog who thinks... Exactly. I think... Thank you. <laughs> By the way, my name's Penelope. <laughs> You seem like a Penelope. <laughs> Can I call you Pen? <laughs> Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> and what does the card say? Discard one item card, then discard a different item at random. Okay. Oh, it looks like we got a question over here. No, oh, oh, no, we don't got oh, a question. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. Listen, <laughs> listen, Pius Grandma, you're hearing too much stuff. Sorry, my hearing aids are acting up. Need to stop. <laughs> I'm hearing things. Draw one item card. Lord speaking to me. I feel like yeah. Pius Grandma has had one too many cigarettes. All right. <laughs> and then, and then you shuffle your hand mm -hmm. and get rid of one. Okay, Yoda's in the chat, everyone. So what'd you draw? Yoda. <laughs> Yoda. Oh, Yoda. <laughs> Is it Baby Yoda? <laughs> yes. Jeremy's Boy, Baby Yoda. Is there any other Yoda? <laughs> Alright, uh, Pius Grandma, why don't you do me the favor? I'm drawing a card. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I took your glasses. No! <laughs> now you can't see. Oh. <laughs> the dog took your glasses. <laughs> the dog. <laughs> they need something to blinded. return. Get blinded. She, she's working for Pius. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this is what you drew. Yes. This is, oh. what, what is this? A stick? It's a selfie stick. I I don't even have a cell phone, so I'm not sure Deary. how this will work. <laughs> Deary, I just have to remind you that you're also on a scooter with no glasses. So you're blinded. Well, listen. In the if, box. Things, <laughs> if things happen, they happen. And Penelope, <laughs> this is why they call it an amusement park. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're <real> kicked. <laughs> no, welcome, <Yeah>. Penelope. <laughs> Say goodbye to the dog who's <laughs> with my glasses. So can we get a recap? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> well, we're all in the amusement park and there was a real bad storm, but apparently Jordan's gone and really liked it, but wherever Elena is right now, she's got mud. And a dog came in and just took her glasses <laughs> away. <laughs> Here, maybe I should just like... Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a blind gram on a scooter. <laughs> Dangerous. Going through a park <laughs> with children. Listen, if they can't handle five miles per hour, they had it coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Grant. Well, I don't know about you, but I've come across a fundraising stand. And these Boy Scouts, and apparently they're cookies. I thought they had popcorn. <laughs> I get three cookies. It's a Very scam. nice. It's not a scam. They're lovely Boy Scouts. <laughs> Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sharing. Oh, I don't trust them Boy Scouts <laughs> with the popcorn or them Girl Scouts with them cookies. <laughs> I do love the mints, though. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to a story round. Um, so each of us, we're going to draw a card, and I'm, we're going to look at it for a couple seconds. Um, so we have to formulate what's going to happen, but then one at a time, we're each going to read our prompt out loud, and then... Um, tell the story of how we get over whatever obstacle we end up drawing. Uh, and at the end of that, uh, we are going to vote on each other's uh, performance, creativity, uh, and storytelling abilities. Um, and maybe we could get people in the chat too, that if they want to shout out and be yeah, like, oh, I think Penelope won. So, so yeah, yeah, that is an invitation extended from Crafty Grandma herself. <laughs> that folks would also like to contribute to the voting mechanic. We will let you know. So again, Thomas is playing Pius. We could hear Thomas. I'm Pius Grandma. All right, and then we have Jordan who is playing Calvary. Listen, five miles per hour is not a lot. They had it coming if they don't get out of the way. <laughs> and then of course we have Elena playing Crafty. Hello. <laughs> I do have a quick question before we get into the story round. So are we able to spend our points before getting into story round, or do we have to spend those during this number rounds? Um, gosh, uh, you can spend them, I think, on any. Yeah, I think on we any turn. Right. I'm not going to stop you. Just for future reference. <laughs> yeah. All right, sure. back into character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I think we can see the chat. All right. All right. So who's gonna go? Oh wait, I go first. <laughs> Are you ready? That's right. I forgot this. <laughs> Are you ready? My memory and what it used to be. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. The Lord right. didn't bless you. So... With that. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. Lord, the Lord certainly didn't bless you today. <laughs> oh, apparently he didn't because guess what? My bingo rival arrived. Okay. Oh. So I know he cheated. He is not very friendly with me. He once offered me a cookie, and you already know how I feel about cookies. So we, don't know. we, just, cookies. Know, we just know everything's a scam. So I just know he cheated. So I have to prove that he cheated on me. But guess what I got? I got my tinfoil hat. And you know what that allows me to do? That allows me to channel the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I channeled the Lord, and the Lord says to me, he says, um, <laughs> he cheated, and that's all the proof I needed. <laughs> I gave him the proof, and he's just like, well, sorry. <laughs> Do you want a cookie? And I said, no. <laughs> and then World War II happened. Oh my God. <laughs> I, think, I think Pius is 
dementia is acting up again. <laughs> Touch me. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that was a roller coaster. May the Lord forgive you. We are at an amusement park. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. Thomas used the um, illustrious tin foil hat, which is a special gold item. So he uh, automatically gets five points yeah. of your choice. Uh, oh, cookies. <laughs> towards his his point pile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I like need to recover from that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a fluke. That was amazing. Oh, all right. So I'm at the amusement park, and who would have thought that there's kids at the amusement park? And I think they're all playing that that Pokemans, but sla- Slapman. I think it's Pockman. Oh, uh, Pockman. <laughs> Pockman. Uh, you're, I think you're right. Yeah, it sounds right. <laughs> but now they're just crowding up the place. It's not much room for my scooter. I don't know how to get through. And, you know, it's really funny. I see them with their selfie sticks, and I'm like, hey, I think I got one of those too. But I think mine's a lot more useful. So I pull out my regular stick that I just always have on the back of my scooter. Why? Because you always have to be prepared. You don't know when you will need a scooter. I mean, a stick. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I think my dimension is acting up. <laughs> And so I see them all trying to get a, what, is it a selfie? I think it's a softie. Softie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I ask if I can join, and then I just whack their selfie stick out of their hands with the stick. And I part it like the sea, like the Red Sea. Like Moses. Yes. I love Moses. <laughs> I know. And I go way back. <laughs> Across the sea with him. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's something that Pius Grandma would be very proud of, and I continue on my way. <sighs> and. <laughs> God. <laughs> and I continue onward through this pleasant garden that these kids were definitely littering around. Because that's just how kids are these days. <laughs> Probably those millennials. Millennials with their softies. <laughs> Jordan, you get a whopping one point cookie. Awesome. <laughs> All of that. That was a lot of story for just a cookie. <laughs> Listen, unlike you, I don't have any odd feelings about cookies, so I'll take what I can get. <laughs> just telling you. Good full of sugar. <laughs> and you're full of salt, buddy. <laughs> Oh, the tea is getting spilled tonight. <laughs> well, while you two are now flipping tables, while oh. you're fighting, I suppose I'll get in this elevator and. Oh, well, oh dear, it's broken down. But the... that's okay. I see that. Hmm, I'm on my way to the mezzanine of the water park. I think I can. Aha! I comb. The door is just pried open just enough I can see it. There's a lever and hmm. So I'm going to throw my comb and I hit the lever and all the water from the water park starts flooding the basement. Oh my <laughs> god. I take out my surfboard. <laughs> that you just casually have. <laughs> you crap, you need knitted one. You knitted one. I, I, oh. <laughs> really fast. It's really dense. It, I think that would sink. This is real. Oh. <laughs> Don't trifle with me, Penelope. <laughs> I have my surfboard. As the water fills up, I get on and I exit through the top of the elevator and I ride my way out through the upper levels. In my wake, I do leave a large muddy path, but that's okay. <laughs> I, I'll... I'll clean it up with all my yarn. I'll, I'll sop it up. Don't worry. I'll sop it up. <laughs> I don't like that word. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, I get five points. Yes, you do. Um, I guess so, I'll just take that. So we could we uh, speak <coughs> once again how um, you all are accumulating those points mm-hmm. for the story round, correct? Yes. Okay. And based upon mat or not matching? I'm not matching. Mm-hmm. Okay. If it matches, we don't get points. Okay. So it's time to vote, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Now we must yep. vote. The, the, uh, <clears throat> the harder it is for an item to be used in an area, the more points you get. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
So um, we all have little voting cards and they correspond to um, different tea types. Um, so those are kind of based on the little uh, tea, tea cups we have. Um, I'm the rose tea. Uh, I'm Crafty Grandma, rose tea. Um, Pious Grandma is the mint tea. Mm -hmm. Mint tea. Ta da! Ooh. And then um, <laughs> uh, Cavalier Grandma Jordan is the uh, milk tea. And we use our little uh, cards. We can't vote for ourselves. Uh, we use our little cards to cast our votes uh, anonymously to each other. Here's the milk tea. Ooh. All right, folks, so tea. based upon each performance of each grandma, now is the time for us to <coughs> submit our votes for which grandma we think deserves the win, the vote. The winner of the vote will also get, um, they get an extra five points for the round. Points are a big deal, folks. It's like bingo night. <coughs> Don't mention bingo night. I'm the sorry. I'm from my bingo Bible account. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been to a bingo night in three weeks. <laughs> That's when World War One happened. World War One happened <laughs> three weeks ago. All right, <laughs> so we're. I think we've got one vote in. I'm, I'm voting. <laughs> If you don't, if you can't get in the chat, just shout it as loud as you can at home. We might be able to hear you with the tinfoil hat. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, it works miracles. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So miracle. what we'll do is you all will place your votes down, and then we'll tally the votes in the chat, and then go from there. All right. Awesome. I'm going to shuffle them up for posterity. <laughs> and and me. All right. We got one mint, two mint. One rose. Okay, so the mint is that mint is mint is Thomas. Okay. Rose is moi. My name's oh Penelope. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I think we have a tie. Oh my goodness! Oh. In the, yeah, in the chat we have two surfing, the surfing one. It doesn't matter. That's Rose. Sur surfing, Ooh. and then I voted for Moses's bestie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so is it three and three then? I mean, oh, we've, what's oh. the tally? We've Who's got, winning we've mint? We got another. We've got another mint vote. It's looking like it's going. To Pius Grandma! Thank you, thank you. I'm here all night. <laughs> no, really. Uh, yeah, well, I'm here until did you get the PM. <laughs> <laughs> We're here until 8 p.m. Then we have to go to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> I have a curfew at the, the nursing home. Right. We have to catch the bus back. Oh, God. Move on to so I want to I wanna ask a question. Sure. Uh, so, where did the idea come from? Where did Grandma RPG come from? Elena. I don't know how to... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to make 3D games, so I decided to do like a card game. Because, you know, we're in animation, but it was possible, and I thought that would be really cool. I like to play Dungeons and & Dragons and play little RPG games. Uh, and what's more fun than being a grandma <laughs> in like an RPG game? <laughs> That's great. So, I don't know. Do you have Just some, silliness. Do you have some games that sort of inspired, like, so maybe this is one I could pose to, like, everybody, if you want. Like, were there some games that came to mind when you <coughs> all, like, sat down to think about the challenge of building Grandma RPG? I know I brought up Super Fight a lot. Yeah, yeah. Super Fight. So. Super Fight. So that's a game where you get like one character and two attributes at random, and you have to use those in order to um, win a fight against someone else. And that's just kind of like where some of this uh, story building aspects come in. And we did use some attributes for the grandmas, but we really didn't look at the game. Gamer grandma, I don't know if you could hear her. Gamer grandma <laughs> Jen over there. Um, just mentioned that we did actually used to have um, attributes attached to the grandma cards, mm -hmm. uh, which we got rid of. There used to be a whole system of uh, like certain grandmas could have more items at once mm -hmm. or do other things. And the game used to be based on a bitterness system, so we were kind of racing to get to our tea party before the tea oversteeped. Um, but as we played through it and got some great feedback from uh, Matt from. Oh, damn, publisher? Uh, Odom. Odom? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll bleep that out. <laughs> it's kind of so, um, yeah, I think Odom she publishing. Means, like, the ones that you see on a river. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, he, uh, 
he gave us some great feedback. We found out like the bitterness wasn't really happening, um, and you know we had a game either split between gaminess or role playing kind of storytelling stuff, and we moved towards storytelling more. Um, so we still have this little point system, but it's it's a bit more focused on having some laughs. <laughs> so more people reacted positively to the actual role playing of it than anything that involved the bitterness or gaminess to it. So. They just felt like it wasn't important. Yeah. Yeah, people would forget about the bitterness system because they yeah. got too into the role-playing, which is what we wanted to focus on. And it was, the bitterness didn't really do anything. Like, yeah, really yeah it bitterness. wasn't important. To win, you had to have the most, <laughs> or the least bitterness, or at least um, your tea couldn't have hit, like, a threshold. Mm -hmm. Now we just have to out-grandma each other, which we'll yeah. talk about when we get to the awards later. <clears throat> <laughs> it looks like I'm winning. Yeah. <laughs> Not so fast. Last question, and then you all shall proceed your grandma um, activities. So, what would you say was like one of the biggest challenges in in like in the project? What was one of the, like each of you? What was like a big challenge that you overcame? <coughs> Waking up early. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <That's fair>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I think probably the hardest part, which we spent probably the most time on it. Like, obviously, the art yeah. took a long time, but we spent a lot of time on the game mechanics because yeah. we were trying to figure out. Because when we were, when Elena first came up with the game, it was completely different compared to what it is now. It's it, like a five minute game. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it was like very play quick. It for five minutes. Yeah. Um, and, you know, El Elena and Jen spent a lot of time trying to, uh, refine that until, um, you know, we got, we got something that was a lot more fun. Um, it spent, it was a lot more time consuming, but people had fun with that. And then we got more criticism from, um, or criticism sounds harsh. We got more tips, feedback, feedback yes, uh, from our student, our fellow students and, you know, our students. Our students, yeah. we our, teach our, them. Our peers, our peers. <laughs> um, and I don't know. I, I think just based off of what people said, you know, that kind of helped bring it together. So. Yeah, I remember um, Jen and I worked uh, on the document for the rules like a lot, uh, and I, there was like classes where that's like all we sat and did. And I remember just staring at this like big document of words for like four hours. <laughs> so that was cool. How did that feel? Uh, <laughs> I was I was into it, but also like it was like oh I didn't draw anything yay like oh it's art school. I'm really so. into business side of it and the document, so I loved it. Yeah, <laughs> Game of Grandma had fun. Yeah, Game of Grandma. I played Game of Grandma. Like with that, so. Yeah, it was it was a fun challenge, but it was just also. <laughs> it's tedious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you're sitting there and you're like, is this fun? Like, does sure. it work? Does, is it balanced? Like, I'm having fun, are you having fun? Like, <laughs> you have time to, like, test the game and seeing if the mechanics work and stuff was the, uh, I think it was the best part of it, because just learning what didn't work and how to fix it was very, it just was yeah. good. Or yeah. solving problems in different ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for answering some of those questions. All right, I'll lead you back to let's uh, right. back into grandma world. There we go. Quick question. Is that a lasso? Is so that, that means I get since I got the votes, I get a five point token, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. I just wanted to make sure if folks at home saw me taking that. I'm not <laughs> cheating. Cheating is a sin. <laughs> we um, and now that we've actually uh, hit uh, past our first story round, we have left the amusement park, mm -hmm. and now. We're on a film set. <laughs> sure. Are we in Hollywood? You know, I was an actress back in the day. Of course you were, honey. Of course you were. <laughs> During the golden age of television. Did you play the mummy? Oh! <laughs> I'm not even that old and you just offended me. Dear, you keep referring back to World War One and World War Two, and you said Moses was your bestie. I think we have a problem here. <laughs> I'm going to make a doily of everything you've said today. <laughs> it's going to it's going to oh, hit the, the East Coast, I can tell you that much. I think it'll go viral. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're on round three. Yep, if you want to spend any of your points. Oh for yeah, more that's items, right. I do have a lot of points. Um, 
Yeah, I would like to. How much of items? Two. Items are two points. Okay, so I want to take three items at random, oh, right? Shoot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And oh, wow. whatever the difference is, I want that back, please. Thank <laughs> you. So. Great. Great as a sin. <laughs> I'll give you two sandwiches because there were two points because I'm not giving you cookies. I'm, I won't face that wrath. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. So looks like what I got from buying, I got some holy water. Always leave that in my purse. Um, got some sunblock. And, uh, you, you know, you never know. The sun is a sin. And uh, <laughs> a compact Mia. Oh, my gosh. Because I'm Mia. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what do they say about vanity, dear? You know... It's not vanity if you're confident in yourself. <laughs> you're so I don't know about that. No. <laughs> the Lord taught me otherwise. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure that's exactly what vanity is. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> Are you sure you most look, willingly look, let you travel Look, we all interpret the, the book differently, okay? <laughs> Your, your Were you there book? when it was written? <laughs> I was there when it was written. I know what they meant by vanity. They meant Van and Vanna White from, you know, that show with the game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. right. You can do your encounter next week. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we, I thought we loved I thought that part. was my encounter. <laughs> All right, so after leaving that amusement park, after suddenly some tidal wave came out of nowhere, uh, and I just saw, I saw Crafty Grandma just ride in the wave. Cowabunga! I guess at some point I must have lost my cash. I dropped some cash, so I gained, wait. You found money. Oh, no, you I found money found you forgot cash. about. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, right. Well, that means I get two points. So what does that mean? Like, how do like I a get a sandwich? It? Okay, so I get a sandwich. You found a sandwich in your I pocket. I prefer sandwiches over cookies. We already know this. So. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've ever made it known that I like sandwiches. But I like sandwiches. <laughs> we know now. That's enough. Meh. All right, that's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is fun. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. So, as I as I was trying to get my scooter through this tidal wave that just happened, I just saw Crafty Grandma Calabunga. I think is what she said through the water. Calabunga. I think it's Calachunga. <laughs> Pious Grandma, sometimes you're wrong. <laughs> I, and as I'm as I'm trying to get my scooter through this through this storm, I see one of those kids walk like swim by and, that I hit with the stick. Oh, <laughs> he's got a grudge on you. No, he does. <laughs> Wait, you hit something with a stick? I hit their oh, I hit their oh. selfie sticks. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. Listen, Cavalier Grandma really doesn't care. <laughs> She's Maybe feral. Between you and your scooter. <laughs> and okay. as I, and as they were swimming along with their youthful bodies, I'm stuck on the scooter. I see that they have a little check hanging out of the back pocket. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, steal. And I'm like, well, they'll make it back. They got plenty of time. Yoink. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, the Lord's always watching. He knows. So what did you, what exactly is it that you stole? Well, I guess this kid must have had some babysitting gig a while back and he didn't check it in. That's his fault. He had it coming. <laughs> a steal from children of all things. Did you get your five? Oh, yes. And with that check, I bought a cake. <laughs> that child could have had a cake. Children get enough sugar in their diets. But they don't. <laughs> you know what, Penelope? Maybe you should just start eating one of your sandwiches. <laughs> okay, no. well, while you all are cashing out with your Gucci's and <laughs> your, uh, <laughs> you know, our batons, I, uh, I seem to have forgotten, well, my cataract glasses on the bus. <laughs> oh, the sun! <laughs> Such 
thing. <laughs> but glad I ain't what it used to be. I think I got a pee now. <laughs> All right. Was that young count? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm forgetting something. Lost my glass. <laughs> I think this is. A, I think as three people who are wearing glasses, all of us are actually wearing glasses. This probably hits a little bit too close to home. Oh, really? I don't have cataracts, so. Well, you, not Crafty yet. Crafty grandma does. Though. Not yet. Shh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well. Luckily for crafty grandma, she also ran into me after losing her glasses. She's just in a blind rage right now. She doesn't know what's going on. We ended up having to trade purses. Because she, like, bumped into me. She took everything from me. And I got left with jack squat. So, here you go. <laughs> and my purse is empty, so... There you I go. Know. Thank you. It's the Lord's favor. <laughs> you know, we have to donate to charity. You know, I think this is because of the vanity thing. Look, Ooh. I have to repay. I have to pay the consequences of my <laughs> sins. Okay. I understand that. <laughs> what was that? From my vanity. It's uh, not vanity. It wasn't vanity. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's different. Moses told me differently. <laughs> oh my god. All right. All right. It's my turn. <laughs> okay. Gee. Oh, I'm just running into all of the good stuff despite everything that I've done today. <laughs> <laughs> all sales are scams. You ran into a, a sale on the film set. I did. I did I really sewing at the film set. We're about yes. to find out. Oh, okay. We're about to find out. <laughs> so, I'm traveling on this film set, and I'm seeing all of these crew people around, and I think they're doing something called, like, Vengers or something like that. Bit, begin, start game? Is that is that it? I... No. <laughs> <laughs> Middle game then. I think yeah, that's that, that's it. And as I'm going through, they keep talking about this one of the, what, this Chris guy who flies around in a spaceship. Anyway, I see that he has some glasses on the set, and I was like, I was like, well, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> oh. Take the glasses. <laughs> well, you get an item. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Grandma is on a roll with the. <laughs> Things and, it's, it's and I'm the one I have to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> I've got wow. nothing. It pays to have a scooter that goes all the way up to five miles per hour. They can't catch me with these speeds. There you go. <laughs> so as I'm trying to go for the glasses, I accidentally pick up his wallet. And he has such a beautiful... <laughs> You're right. looking a bit shifty there. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you can get away with anything when you got speeds like mine. <laughs> well, it's like I've got the Gucci's now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think someone named Victoria would enjoy that. I can't believe this. Cavalier Grandma, you have to. You're in my way. I just. This traffic. <laughs> what is this? On a film set. <laughs> I lose my next encounter, so after this story round, I don't, I don't get an encounter. Sad. I'm sorry. Right, so I, have to, I have to ask. Yeah. What are some of the like? What are some of your favorite cards? Oh God. <laughs> I love the grandma card. <laughs> my one of my favorite cards is actually one of the story cards, and it's like, well, it was the uh, kidnapping or something like that. <laughs> It was the one where I mixed up with like kidnapping. I thought oh. you were like stealing my baby, but it was in reference to like my like someone taking my daughter in marriage or something like that. Yeah, like, but I thought someone stole my child. That was with me because I got like I got a baby that I had taken yeah. out, and then I pushed yeah. it off on some people that probably was the parents. And you were like, "That's my daughter." <laughs> that is by far one of my favorite cards out of this. Story. Yeah, just some different interpretations there. <laughs> Uh, it just has a story attached because it's a story card. Yes, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How, how, did, how did you all come up with so many? I mean, there's so many cards there, you know. And, and so, what was the process for just generating? I kind of want to know. I want to know what the process was for generating some of the cards. We kind of all kind of just started saying things, and we would like break them down, mm -hmm. and then we get rid of stuff that didn't make sense and like 
we'd all say something and then we'd work out what we wanted to hear. Yeah, we uh, well, we thought of what old people might have, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we channeled their inner old people. <laughs> yeah. Did you all interview old people to come up with No, I'm just an old soul. I think we all kind of just said stuff that our grandparents had at one point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. No, no, like going out and doing observation. No. 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 That's good. Okay. No. Amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, you don't know my grandma. <laughs> we we kind of based some of them off of, you know, once we made certain locations, before we had, we'd never had, like, location colors, and then we started thinking of one, and we're like, oh, blue for water, and then we were like, we don't have any, like, blue items, so we came up with, like, the surfboard and the wetsuit based on, like, game mechanics, too. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, just curious. Wanted to know. Some of those. And, like, the tinfoil hat and stuff, we just wanted to go kind of crazy. Oh yeah, we needed like so the gold items are like kind of nuts. So like the tin foil hat. Um, there's there's other ones. Like I don't want to spoil all of them, but there's like a like a whipped cream pie that you can just pie someone with. There's a t-shirt gun. It's, they're just it's fun. Awesome. I think essentially if it made us laugh, we put it in. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds you know that, that's very fitting for a game like Grandma RPG. And, and I think that's what's always interesting to hear for a team. And I think that plays a huge role in keeping people, like, keeping the morale up. Even though you're making a fun game, it's a ton of work. Like you said, like staring at a design document, coming up with rules, or, you know, creating all of the art for all of those cards. It's like, what things do you do in between those activities to kind of break up, like, like the routine and, and keep people from getting kind of burnt out? On, on making things for the game. That's definitely why we came up with like make. I wanted to make these because I thought that would be stupid fun. <laughs> because it was like, oh, we just sat down and like played with clay, and Thomas went nuts and made a bunch of them. <laughs> and then we painted them later. It was super fun. Shout out to my sister who let us uh, use her clay. <coughs> and and yeah, thanks, Kaylee. We you know used her studio space to to bake the clay too, so. and her paint. Awesome. MVP. Just took everything. Yeah. <laughs> Capital Air Grandma was in. <laughs> Full swing there. Could you, could you guys speak a little bit about like working on a team? Like what was that like? Have you worked on teams before and done like group work? Or what was that like for the, the clan? It was awful. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. I'm kidding. Final day, all the secrets come out. <laughs> I, I was worried about it because I was like, oh man, like I know most of the people in class, like sort of, but like we, tra- I transferred in, so I haven't been with these people since day one. Like, well, I mean, so I don't think- yeah. Yeah. Like there's like other people. Like I'm like, oh, everybody's like buddy buddy usually, and I was like worried about it, but um, Jordan, like. I already knew Jordan, and I had Jen was in a couple of my classes, uh, but like I didn't know Thomas at all. I um, just showed up. Yeah, and I was super. <laughs> yeah, I took him in. I was like worried. A puppy. And I think working on like in a team experience, I think we all like worked together really well, and mm-hmm. like did all the work together, and like it was fun. Like Thomas is like super fun, yes. and amazing. And then Jen like did a bunch of cool stuff and was like tech master. So it like worked out really well. I was like, oh, so like now it's like more friends, and also we made a cool, a cool game. Yeah, I was so. I was really worried about it, um, mostly because of my cool people. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, as an observation, and then I'll get off, um, stop, stop talking so much, and then let you all <laughs> continue to play. And I think as an observation, is to what really helped was that you all sort of just really honestly had honest to goodness fun. I think that's the thing is that everybody kind of um, got out of their comfort zone, was trying something very like new that no one had made before, and you're all doing that collectively, which is really, um, I think the way that it was handled was really like elegantly in a sense of like always kind of having fun, always like poking around and, and trying different things and like um, taking moments to sit out in the open area of the studio and laugh at one another, but like with each other, not mm-hmm. at each other. Um, I think that was really cool to see um, as a as an educator. That was really awesome to kind of see how that was helping you all move through things. Especially when we had that moment where there was the big critique, and it was like, "This is working. This is not quite working." And then to bounce back and have something as exciting to play as the game in its current state. So yeah. that's pretty cool. Awesome. Well, I thought I'd just kind of sneak that in there. Yay! Uh, yeah. So. 
Where are we at? Just to get kind of folks that might be coming to. Where yeah. are we at in the current game? Well, we're ahead. heading on to another story round. Mm -hmm. um, if we're running low on time, we could jump to the final story. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. It's oh. a long game. It's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, if you want us to jump to the final story, um, that works a little differently than normal stories. Uh, we basically just use what we have, um, where we are, and what's happened already to tell the story of how we actually get to the tea party. Okay. Um, and we kind of, we can bounce off of each other's I ideas and like make them coherent, like concurrent, or just like one after another. Mm -hmm. Do, is there any, um, I think that's a wonderful idea, and I, um, we want to also are, have there been any awards, or are those at the that's end? That's at the very end. Oh, the very that's end. why I think maybe we should jump to the final story. Yeah, yeah I think it should happen. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Fast forward. <laughs> uh, Cavalry Grandma is like going through so much, like a huge wad of cash <laughs> at this point. Because I have to... cataract glasses from Gucci. No. Can I buy? <laughs> it's the only brand I know. That's fair. <laughs> no. This is not sponsored by Gucci, by the way. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> that, would, that would not be, be very Gucci of us. Sponsored by my Instagram. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> With what money? <laughs> um, all right, so now before we start, can I buy something since someone took my stuff? Yeah, if you want to. Well, um, yeah, you can. Do you want to spend your points or do you just want items? Because I did take them. Um, I feel like you can I'll buy items by the card. Yeah. Do you want to just draw two items? Yeah, we'll Make just it draw fun. two items. Yeah, because just randomly, I some might of the awards have, have to do with yeah, some of the awards have to do with points, so I don't want True. to really dock you. True. So oh, those are cute. Not... I have to show those off. Oh yes. <laughs> sewing kit and a handkerchief. Look how cute these are. Oh, I, I, I did the sewing kit, but like the handkerchief, uh, Jordan did. It's very cute. I already have ideas. It's it's <laughs> kind of inception. It's kind of inception because it's a handkerchief on now top it, of a doily. Now it really looks like you got my purse, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. Uh, I stole away into your home. <laughs> I did sneeze into that earlier. <laughs> Cavalry Grandma's been showing him some things. <laughs> All right, so on final story, we draw story cards still. Uh, no, we just go. We just go for it. Yeah, we're, yeah. Still we're gonna get set. there. Okay, yep, we're yeah, still, we're still, still on the set. set. <laughs> All right, well. As you can tell, I already have some sewing items in my purse after we switched some stuff with Crafty Grandma, who took all my holy water. And I'm very upset what? about this. <laughs> <laughs> and my wetsuit. I spent money on that. She just casually has. <laughs> sales, sales are scams. So, <laughs> so after getting, <laughs> get, getting past this film set was quite tricky. That Chris Evans guy, you know, he's Chris Evans. So. <laughs> He's very strong, and he carried me in his arms. <laughs> after I had a faint heart attack after someone stole my puss, Crafty Grandma. <laughs> I'm not pointing any fingers, but it was definitely Crafty Grandma. So once I did, what, what I did, I did. It's called Crafty was, uh, I says to him, I says, um, Chris. <laughs> I can't craft very much, but what I do have is the sewing kit. And what I can make is a handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna make you a handkerchief so you can always remember me, your pious grandma. <laughs> I like how you refer to yourself as your pious, pious. grandma. <laughs> I'll sign it Penelope. <laughs> and so we, I bring Chris home with me and we have tea together and I'm just waiting now for Crafty Grandma and Cavalry Grandma, whatever her name is. Oh. <laughs> I see how it is. Cavalry Grandma, the sinner. I can't hear you, I have too much money blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, so if, I'm, if I'm clear, Chris Evans is now at the tea party. Yes. I guess so, yeah. Fantastic. He carried me in his arms. <laughs> To the tea party. <laughs> um, last week it was the EMT, and now no, it's... that was four weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, we don't speak of that. <laughs> right before we World moved War on. <laughs> EMT no longer exists in my life. Just period. <laughs> no more EMTs. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'm at Stop the tea party. <laughs> All right, I'm at the tea this party. Tea to be oh my goodness. Um. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to beat <laughs> by his grandma here. <laughs> oh, Chris Evans, you're so strong. <laughs> God. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable now. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to have to go to technical difficulties here. Oh, God. 
you know how old lady ducks are. <laughs> so. <sighs> so. I'm having fun with my money. <laughs> and I am so happy because I have these cakes to show off when I get to the tea party. And I know that crafty grandma will be happy to hear about how I can afford Gucci now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hardworking woman and I earn my cash honestly. So Pius Grandma will enjoy that. We, honestly, we watched what happened. <laughs> we know what happened. And it was honest work. <laughs> God's always watching. And so <laughs> I was, I'm a little bit worried that I might be late. So to I so I give a little vroom vroom on my scooter and it goes from its its supposed max of five miles per hour to ten. <laughs> <laughs> and I tie my nightgown that I always have on me because I do have a little basket on here around my around my neck so it's like a cape and I just makes you more hair down here yes <laughs> <laughs> and as I'm speeding through I the money whips out of my basket and it just looks so majestic <laughs> oh. and then when I get to the tea party I see Pius over here Penelope Miss Heaven on Earth. Miss Evans now. I'm Mrs. Evans. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I, I don't know about that, honey, because Chris Evans is my when husband. your fifth one. Um. <laughs> oh. All right. Calm down. I think you're about to be having a quick divorce because oh. I come over and I'm like, Chris, honey, I think I found your lost wallet. Oh. <laughs> And he is so grateful. He like talks about how he's had such a hard day at work, being on the set for like who knows how long, and then he had to carry you here. And uh, what are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Always Look, fighting. I might be I'm a little around. voluptuous, but I ain't that heavy. <laughs> it's all in your hair, dear. And so. <laughs> Oh no. And so, as he is so grateful, he allows me to take a photo with him with my selfie stick that I finally learned how to use. Give me back my husband. Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> Share, isn't sharing part of the Lord's work? No. <laughs> Well, I've, I've been left behind on the film set. They both run off. <laughs> Ten miles per hour. <laughs> I get a ping on my jitterbug, and I check, <laughs> and I see Cavalier Grandma's lovely selfie with uh, Chris Evans, uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I have places to be. <laughs> so I put down my jitterbug, and I see across the film set, I have a long way to go to get to the exit. So... I run and I see this set of Aquaman, so I, I go through my purse, which is not my purse. Apparently I took Pius Grandma's, <laughs> she won't mind. So I pull out her wetsuit, and it's a good thing we're the same size, so I put it on, and I swim my way across the set, pushing away all of the actors. <laughs> and as soon as I get out, as the security tries to stop me, I squirt my sunblock into their eyes. <laughs> be the pious one I, here. I, I assaulted security guards, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just well, saying, I'm the whole serious. time, I have never assaulted anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sure. <laughs> do we get to vote? We do. Yeah. Um, so, I'll, I'll show what the awards are. We can go in order. Um, there's four awards. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, five awards, sorry. Five. Whoa. Yeah, I don't remember. Dementia. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> you have that cavalier, Grandma. I'm pretty sure we're all getting it, honey. Mm. <laughs> all right. Um. I think we can start with. So we have these lovely little um awards cards. So the first one I have is most in character. So this one says this player put their acting or creative storytelling skills to use and made role playing decisions that really sold their character. So who this is. They're subjective, you know, based on voting, but um, this is basically like based on the acting and of en encapsulating the drama. Fine. Yeah. So, so who? <laughs> so okay. So who was indeed the best grandma? This Most evening? in character. Most in character. You know, uh, it's tough. It's a tough one. It was a. I don't know. Do we want to have somebody? Should I? Should I decide? <laughs> do people, I mean, like, do we want to yeah, open it to the chat? I mean, yeah, uh, if we have, um, <clears throat> if we have folks who would like to share who they believe would be the top-notch in-character grandma this evening, who do you think? Who do you think? And this is, this is based all on acting and creative storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> now we wait. <laughs> now, now we sit in silence. <laughs> <laughs> How are we supposed to get people to vote if there's no one else here? Oh, I, don't, I don't see any other people. That's sitting in an empty room. It's just us talking to each other. <laughs> Oh, we have we, we have a we never left the nursing home. We have everybody did a good job. I would agree. Oh no, we all did. Oh, oh well, that's, that's very, very sweet of you. That's very <laughs> nice. <laughs> Everyone was most in character. It's true. We all did a pretty good job. Oh, so we all win. Everybody wins. Everyone gets the. There's more than. There's other awards. Okay. There are other there awards. There are other awards, so we'll. Yeah. We'll see if okay. we want to come back to that one. That's yeah. fine. Um, <laughs> if, if we're like nervous on voting for stuff, um, there's some. There's two. Uh, they're kind of opposites to each other. So we have bread winner and bread thinner. And basically, bread winner <laughs> is the player that has the most food token value at the end of the game, and then bread thinner is the least food token value at the game. So we count up what we have. So these are two, so one, two, and five. I have 11 points. I have 10. I have 13. No. Wow. <laughs> so... After I spent all that money on your purse. Bread, bread thinner goes to Cavalier Grandma, and then uh... bread winner goes to Crafty Grandma. It's from all that money that I got in my teeth from running through Cavalier Grandma's just all flew away. That's yes. why you don't have any money left. Yes, but I looked majestic. <laughs> um, and then our last two, um, we have Best Grandma Voice. So this player put the greatest ever into sounding like their grandma. And then we have Spills the Tea, which is this player had the most detailed and immersive stories. So, oh my. yeah, these are the final two. All right, I, I have to say, hands down, I gotta be papaya's grandma. I'm, I just, a, I'm crafty all the way. Oh, <laughs> oh we got a dilemma over here. Yes. Oh. For which one? Because there's they're separate, so. Yeah, so which one? The voice. Yeah, I like um, Penelope. Yeah, Penelope. Penelope feels real. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys. My name is Penelope Evans. <laughs> and I just want to thank Moses <laughs> for giving me the strength. <laughs> oh my god. Put on this voice. <laughs> okay. Um, I say we give most in character to Gamer Grandma because she's sitting at a computer with. Uh, <laughs> that is true. Oh, <laughs> moderating all the tech. She I brought think, props. Yeah, I, I think uh, most in front of a computer with a headset on. I, I think that's incredible. Look at the Gamer Grandma. It's that this. It's uncanny. It is, she's so she's so in character. It's it's the same. <laughs> she's not interacting with anyone else minimally. <laughs> And then, so we have one more spills the tea. All right. That's the tiebreaker. Oh. Oh one? yeah. Well, oh, we gotta man. decide because we're going over time. So uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, um, this player heard the most detailed and immersive stories. <laughs> <laughs> In a less detailed way. <laughs> I think it's between you two. All that surfing that you did. 
Cowabunga. I'll just fun story, though. <laughs> well, how about I'm we just do saying. this for the first official... Well, I'm going to say that everybody That's did a fair. fantastic job, especially for going live <laughs> and playing this and doing improv for our wonderful audience. Let's do a golf clap round of applause. You all did yeah, a wonderful, so. wonderful job. Thank you all for tuning in for Grandma RPG, the first time unboxing and playing of this amazing granny role-playing title. Yay! So, Woo! Oh, oh. Um, did we want to do quick... Uh, oh, we can do a quick shout-out, actually. Shout-out. Um, we got our uh, all of our cards printed uh, from uh, Print and Play, uh, and they did a really nice job. <laughs> Thank it was you, print and play. Yeah, it was super fast, really great, super fun. Awesome. All right, so, so, your own cards. so we're yeah. gonna close it down. Be sure to join us tomorrow for our last but not least stream with Junkyard Boogie. <coughs> Have a good evening, everybody. Bye.